Hey there, what's up everybody? Good to be back with you here again. We got the Pirates of the Dodgers again, and we all remember what happened last time on the mound for the Dodgers is Ralph Branca. And uh, you talk about somebody who was remembered for only one thing. That's Ralph Branca. Actually, pretty good year in 49. One and one the count now on Ralph Kiner. There's a swing and a miss strike too. Branca, though, remembered only for that one pitch in 1951. Two and two on Kiner. There's one that misses inside full count now on Ralph. And that one's hit deep to left field. And uh, Rackley's there for the out one away. Here's Ed Fitzgerald. That's in the dirt to Ed, 1-0 the count. That's a fastball high for a ball. It's 2-0. Here's a little chopper over to Jorgensen at third, and Spider gets him two away, and here's Danny Murtaugh, and uh, deals with a bug in his eye and uh, takes a uh, strike below the letters, and uh, there's a breaking ball in there for a strike, 0-2 now on Murtaugh, and there's strike three swinging, and we go to the bottom of the first, and here is Jackie Robinson. Here is Jackie Robinson with an 18-game hitting streak, is that what they said? 2-0 now the count on uh, Robinson. And there's a breaking ball in there for a strike, two and one. And there's a ground ball over to Castiglione short on the first for the out, one away. Spider Jorgensen now is hitting 368, comes up there, one and one the count on him against Vic Lombardi. That's on the outside corner, one and two the count. There's a little high fly ball over to the right side, and it's going to be uh, Westlake, the center fielder, getting that one, two out. And here's Marv Rackley, and he lines one up the middle for a base hit. Rackley's been hitting the cover off the ball here for the Dodgers. Happy I have him in left instead of Carl Abrams. Snyder hits one to the right, right side, and that is going to be stopped there by um, Hop, the first baseman. No chance to get Snyder, though. Nobody's there at the bag, and that's a base hit. Two on and two out here for, for uh, Pee Wee Reese, who we knocked up the order a little bit, and um, takes a ball and another ball, too. No, the count now. And he pops one up on to the right side, but just foul. Two and one now. Now, three and one as that one misses. And there's a liner, and boy, Bachman, the uh, third baseman, able to grab that one and uh, stop it from going to the outfield. And uh, we go to the top, top of the second. Castiglione uh, will lead this off. Oh, and two, the count on him really quickly. And boy, Branca buried him down there low. Strike three swinging as that one was in the dirt. And uh, there's one away. There's Eddie Bachman. Bachman takes a strike, and there is a ball. I told you Branca is pretty good. One and one, one and two now. Branca three no on the season. There's one crushed deep to left field. As soon as I said it, there it went, and it's one nothing Pittsburgh. Here is Johnny Hoff. Remember, the Dodgers scored 17 in the last game against Pittsburgh. Hoff hits a ground ball over to Hodges, does it himself. Two away. We go to Wally Westlake now, top of the uh, second inning. And uh, we'll see if uh, the Dodgers can get 17 here or not. That's a, a little ground ball there by uh, Westlake, and that bounces off of uh, Branca's mitt over to Robinson, who makes the play, throws him out. We go to the bottom of the second inning, and uh, here's Gil Hodges, one nothing Pirates. Only one hit for the Pirates, the home run, and uh, there's a liner over to third base. Bachman jumps up and uh, grabs that one, snags it for the out one away. Carl Ferrillo now hitting 259, and his lack of hitting has really hurt the Dodgers. A 2-0 pitch, and that's hit deep to left. Kiner's got it for the out two away. Bruce Edwards now in, uh, up there because uh, Campanella needs a uh, day of rest. And uh, he hits one deep to left center and over the fence and out of here. And it's a one-to-one ball game just like that. Edwards only uh, eight home runs in real life in 1949, two already in Diamond Mine. We're not quite a quarter of the way through the season, so it's a little bit ahead of the pace. Rack up there now, takes the ball on a strike, one and one the count. That one's high. It's two and one on him. There's another one high, three and one the count now on Branca, and he swings and misses a one full count on him now. And uh, that's strike three is as fouled back into the catcher's mitt. We go to the top of the third, and it's Dixie Walker. Dixie Walker hits one hard, and uh, that's going to be a base hit as Robinson grabs that one and just can't do anything with it. That brings up Vic Lombardi, runner on first base. And um, there's a bunt over to Branca. Branca makes the play, throws over to Hodges at first, but Walker moves up to second, and here's Ralph Kiner hitting 386 with 10 home runs. Takes a strike and hits one right at the nose, on the nose, at the nose, at Ferrillo in right field. Two outs, and here's Ed Fitzgerald, and uh, he takes one low, and that one ends up getting by Edwards and allows uh, Dixie Walker to move on to third. Runner on third now with two outs, top of the third, and it's a strike in there to Fitzgerald. One and one the count. Two and one is that one just missed, and he swings and misses that one, two and two the count, and there's a fastball by him, and we go to the bottom of the third just like that. Jackie Robinson up there takes a strike, and there's a ball off the play. One and one the count. Ball two is high. Two and one now on Robinson, and that's fouled off of his foot. Two and two. There's a little pop-up over to Kiner and left for the out one away, and that'll bring up Spider Jorgensen. And he hits one over to the right side, and Hop grabs it, throws over to Lombardi, covering for the second out. And here is Marv Rackley, and he swings and misses at one, his own one, and that misses just barely. One and one the count now. Two and one as that one misses again. That swung on a miss. Two and two the count now on Marv. And there's one grounded over to the left side. Kistiglione has it, makes the throw over to first base for the out. We go to the top of the fourth, and it's Danny Murtaugh. 
Murta hits a little ground ball over to Robinson at second base. He makes the play, throws to first for the out, one away. P. Castiglione hits one to the right side. Hodges has it on the line, two away, and here's Eddie Bachman. There's a strike in there to Bachman, 0 1 the count, and that one just missed, 1 1 the count now on Eddie. And he swings and misses at that one, 1 2 the count now on Eddie. And he pops one foul down to the right, just out of play, one and two. And there's a ground ball over to Reese. Throws over to first for the out. We go to the bottom of the fourth. I play fast because they play fast. Ball in there to Duke Snyder leading off the bottom of the fourth. And then he hits one over to Murtaugh uh, second. Throws to first for the out, one away. Pee Wee Reese then takes a strike from Lombardi. And a ball, one and one the count now on Pee Wee. And he hits one over to the gap in right field, and that one ends up just getting past. It was Westlake out there. No, it was Walker who was going hard for that one, and uh, Westlake backed him up, keeping Reese to a single. That will bring up Gil Hodges, and uh, he takes the ball. Let's uh, have Reese run. And he runs, and he ends up stealing as uh, Hodges swung on and swung and missed that one. One and one the count on Gil Hodges, but Reese gets his uh, steal of second. And uh, that is his fifth stolen base of the season. He had 27 in real life, so that's one that we definitely can run with. And there's a ground ball over to Castiglione, who holds Reese on at second. Throws the first for the out, two out, and here's Carl Ferrillo. And uh, he fouls one off. Oh, and won the count on him. And he has a good take on that one. One and one. That misses a pie, two and won the count now on Ferrillo. And uh, he has a little hit over in the right field in front of Walker. And here comes Pee Wee Reese trying to score. We're going to have him try for the uh, play of the plate. And, boy, he's thrown out on a good throw there by Dixie Walker. And we go to the top of the fifth inning. I was about to say, Carl Ferrillo, you know, that lack of hitting has hurt them. But he got the hit and the right uh, chance there as Johnny Hopp takes a ball and another ball top of the fifth. And, uh, boy, um, it was just a really good throw that beat uh, beat the Dodgers. Hop takes ball four and ends up being the uh, runner on at first base. And here comes Wally Westlake. And uh, Branca misses again for a ball. 1-0 the count. 1-1 one one now on Westlake. And uh, there's a fastball outside. 2-1 and one is the count now on him. There's a ground ball over to Robinson. He makes the play. Flips over to Reese for one on to Hodges at first for the double play. And here comes Dixie Walker, who uh, takes a ball. One for one today. And uh, one and one is now the count on Dixie. Two and one is that one just missed. And there's ball three to him. Three and one the count. And uh, there's a little ground ball over to Robinson. Makes the play. Throws to first for the out. We go to the bottom of the fifth. It's Bruce Edwards. And, uh, boy, he has a little ground ball over to Castiglione and is able to beat that one out. It's not every day you see a catcher beat one like that out. Here comes Brank, and we're going to bunt with him. And he does bunt, and he bunts it foul, and won the count. And there's one bunted, and that is fair down the third base line. They had the infield in, and still nobody made the play. And that puts runners on at first and second for the Dodgers with nobody out. And Jackie Robinson coming up here, bottom of the fifth inning, tie ball game 1-1. Robinson takes the ball, hits one deep to right center field. Westlake goes back and grabs that one. Edwards moves up to third. That brings up Spider Jorgensen, and Jorgensen does have that bunting ability, but Edwards is a little bit slower than I'd like. Um, and uh, there's a strike in there to Jorgensen. Oh, and one the count. And there's a breaking ball. He swings on and misses. Oh, and two. And uh, there's a ground ball down to third base. Bachman has it. Now, this is the question. What do you do here? Do you send him for home? Do you risk the double play? We'll try to send Edwards home. And there's the throw home, and he is thrown out. And that means there are runners on at first and second. If I don't send him home, it's a double play, so might as well try it. Marv Rackley now runners on first and second, bottom of the fifth, and he fouls one back. Oh, and one the count. That one's way high. One and one now the count on Rackley. And there's a fastball in the first strike. One and two. That's outside. Two and two the count. There's a fastball way outside. Full count now. Lombardi just missed. And uh, there's a fly ball over to uh, Kiner in left field. He makes the play. We go to the top of the sixth inning. Top of the sixth inning. Very fast moving ball game. Here is Vic Lombardi. Takes two straight balls. Two and no the count on him. Branca hasn't thrown a whole lot of pitches. Three and no now. And he's behind on the pitcher. There's a strike. Three and one the count now. And uh, there's a ground ball over to Robinson, makes the play, throws over to first four, the out, one away. Here's Ralph Kiner, takes a ball. And that one's way low for a ball, two and no the count. He fouls one off uh, up at the plate, two and one. And that's off the outside corner for a ball, three and one the count now on Kiner. Pops that one up, and that's just out of play. Full count now on Ralph. And uh, <laughs> Ralph Branca doesn't get the call on that one. That's walk number two he's given up, and Kiner goes over to first base. Here's Ed Fitzgerald. And he rips a head a, a base hit over to left field. Rackley makes the play on that, and then he falls down as he's trying to uh, get the ball chasing down to the line. And that one enables um, uh, Fitzgerald to reach second base. And that is a, a pretty big play and a pretty big error and a pretty big situation. So Kiner ends up on a third, and the uh, hitter, Fitzgerald, uh, the catcher, ends up at second base. 
um, because of that really, really poor play out there by Marv Rackley, who I was just praising as a great choice in left field. Danny Murtaugh now, and he fouls that one back, only won the count. One and one is that one missed. And swung on a miss there. One and two now the count on Murtaugh, and there's a ground ball over to first. Kiner is going for home. We are going to throw to the plate. Hodges throws home, and he is safe. Why does this always happen to me, right? We try to make the play at the plate, and the guy's safe. We try to score on that play, and he's thrown out. I don't get it. Three, two to one now, Pirates, and here's P. Castiglione. And uh, there's a little check swing towards second base, and uh, Fitzgerald goes for home. We are going to go for a double play here. No, uh, and we end up throwing that one over to first, and that allows the run to score. It's three to one Pirates now. This right here, I will say, is actually... Um, uh, so I have a collection, as you know, of different types of play-by-play. This one I'm going to put down as bad play-by-play, and there's a real um, specific reason for this, because when you're faced with this decision, you don't know if that ball is hit hard enough for a potential double play or not, right? And it's really hard to tell, and that really influences your decision. If I knew we could only get one, then, of course, I want to throw it to the plate. Eddie Bachman takes two straight balls and hits one up the middle. Reese has it, throws it first for the out. We go to the bottom of the six, and it's Duke Snyder. Uh, this is a home run by Snyder as he hits that one down the right field line, and uh, that's his seventh home run of the year, and that makes this a 3-2 to two ball game, and that's the way that these uh, Dodgers play. Um, you know, you can see that LSMFT, um, oh, yes, I see, lucky strike means fine tobacco, um, so uh, that's a sort of commercial you don't uh, see a whole lot these days. That's a little bit of a special color that I guarantee you you will not see in any other baseball simulator. Um, at any rate, Duke Snyder hits the uh, first pitch he sees down the right field line and out for a home run. Then Pee Wee Reese gets a uh, ground ball off of Hop's uh, uh, glove over in uh, the uh, right side. It brings up Gil Hodges, and we're going to have Reese steal here. Uh, throw to first, and they don't get him. Another throw to first, and they don't get him again. And uh, there's a strike in the outside corner. Owen won the count on Hodges. And that's a ball. One and one the count now. And uh, there's ball two. It's two and one now. Runner's delight. And uh, let's see what happens here. And there's strike two. And so stealing directly is not quite working. We'll do a little hit and run. There's a ground ball over to Castiglione, who makes the play, throws over to first for the out. But Reese moves up to scoring position. Here's Carl Ferrillo. If we had not hit and run as Ferrillo takes the ball, that would have been a double play. Ball two now to Carl, two and no the count. There's a fly ball over to Westlake in center field, and he has it for the out two away. We will not run to third. Um, and here comes uh, Bruce Edwards, runner on second base. And they're going to put Edwards on in the situation. Only the bottom of the sixth inning with a 3-2 to lead, and they elect to pitch to Ralph Branca. I kind of understand it, though. I think it's probably realistic. Lombardi throws, and there's a ball. And a strike, 1-1 one one the count. And there's ball two, and there to Ralph, 2-1. and one, And that one just missed, ball 307, take this one. And uh, full count now on Branca, that's called a strike. And, uh, oh, my gosh, Ralph Branca hits one, that inside fastball, and he hits that over the wall into left center field. My goodness, I didn't see that one coming at all. Five to three Dodgers as Ralph Branca absolutely, absolutely explodes on that pitch. And uh, I wasn't expecting to see that happen at all. My goodness, two home runs here in this season for Ralph Branca. He's the latest player to join the uh, two home runs in a uh, in this uh, replay uh, club for one who didn't have a single one in real life. And, uh, you know, I've made a lot of this before, you know, guys who had no home runs suddenly hitting home runs here in this. Um, we have seen that happen a couple of times, but this is the second player we've noticed here in the early fa- uh, stages of this replay who has two home runs um, in this replay early in the early going, despite having none in real life. And so Branca, <laughs> Branca who uh, w- they walk to get to, ends up totally, totally beating the Pirates at their own game. And that brings Lombardi out. Here is Hugh Casey pitching against Jackie Robinson, and it's a one and one count now on Jackie. Told you, Branca was better than you thought. Two and one, the count now on Robinson. And uh, he hits a little dry, uh, ball down to uh, Casey, the pitcher, who falls down, throws over to first from the seat of his prance, and he still require, re- retires uh, Jackie Robinson. And uh, so that was also a pretty impressive play. But the real story here, the absolute story here, is the story of uh, Ralph Branca hitting a home run to turn uh, what was a 3-2 to two close game into a 5-3 to three lead for the Dodgers. And we go to the top of the seventh, and Branca, of course, is still in there. And um, there is a, uh, li- a uh, fly ball over to Duke Snyder that he ends up missing. He falls down and can't quite get to that one, and that's another bad play. And they're going to call that a single for Johnny Hobb. 
And as you can see, the reason for that is because according to the play-by-play, -play, we technically should be taking Snyder out, but I'm not going to do that. I've explained this before. If I were going to do that for one team, I'd have to do it for both teams, and this, this is not going to be fair. Um, Westlake up there hits a foul. Owen won the count on him. There's a little pop-up over to Hodges, the first baseman, who has it for the first out. Here's Dixie Walker, and he takes a strike. Owen won the count now on Dixie. And uh, there's one on the outside corner, the knees, 0-2, and, and that's slapped at the middle. Reese uh, does it himself at second, throws over to first, but Dixie uh, beats the play. Hugh Casey's replaced by Ed Stevens, the uh, pinch hitter, who uh, fouls one back now to play and swings and misses that one. 0-2, oh, now the count on Stevens, and there's a head over to Snyder in center field, and we go to the bottom of the seventh inning, Jorgensen up. Dodgers with the 5-3 to three lead, and uh, Spider fouls one off, 0-1 oh, the count. And he hits one deep to right field, and as Walker has it for the out, one away. Here's Marv Rackley, and he hits one to the right side. Danny Murtaugh has it, throws to first, two away. Duke Snyder with the home run already in this game, takes the ball. And lines one over first foul. One and one the count now on the Duke of Flatbush, and there's a strike to him. It's one and two. That misses wide two and two the count now on Duke. And there's one hit down the first base line. Hop has it and does it himself. We go to the top of the seventh, and here's Ralph Kiner. Now it's a two-run lead, but Kiner can turn that into one run here in a, in a hurry. One and one the count now on Ralph, and one and two as he swings and misses that one, and he swung on and missed at the third one, and that's a strikeout strike on number four for Branca. Here is Ed Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald takes the ball up high, 1-0 the count, and he creams this one to left field. That will pull the Pirates within a run, and it is the time of game where we really have to start paying attention to this. So it is now a 5-4 to four ball game um, in favor of the Dodgers, and hold on to everything because this is not a 17-run lead like we had last time these teams played. Um, this is um, a game that the uh, Pirates absolutely can get back into and will. Con uh, Branca, rather, is about to say Kiner. The other Ralph, Branca, has been pitching well, only 86 pitches so far. But uh, you got to watch out. There's a strike in there to Danny Murtaugh. And there's a liner to second base past Robinson for a base hit. And that means that the Pirates have something cooking here in the uh, top of the eighth inning again. Down by only a run. And here comes Pete Castiglione. Um, and uh, Danny Murtaugh is the runner over there on first base. And so, uh, like I said, you got to be careful. This is a team that... Um, there we go. This is a team that is maybe a little bit better than you thought and might be a little bit better than um, necessarily the record book will tell you. This is a team that knows how to rally, and they've done a lot here in this replay so far. There's the pitch to Castiglione. Robinson goes and uh, grabs that ground ball that he hits over to second, throws over to first for the out, and Murtaugh moves up to second. That will bring up Eddie Bachman. Bachman already won for three today with a run batted in. In fact, I believe it was a home run that he hit. Yes, it was, and I'm looking right here at the game column. And so uh, Eddie Bachman has, um, if he gets a hold of one here, has the uh, potential to um, turn this one into a, a one-run pirate lead. Let's see what happens. And so the first pitch here comes into uh, Bachman. And uh, that gets away from Edwards slightly, but Murtaugh stays on a second. 1-0 the count, and there's a strike. 1-1 one one the count now on Eddie. And uh, there's a little uh, tapper over to Branca. Branca makes the play, throws over to first base for the out, and that will do it for that inning. So the uh, Pirates end up only getting one run out of all of that adventure, um, and we'll go to the bottom of the eighth inning with the Dodgers in front 5-4. to four. And uh, there will be uh, three more outs remaining for Pittsburgh. So we will see what happens. Um, and, uh, let's see, who was that? That was Bachman. My apologies. I like to, when I take the, um, screenshots, I like to, uh, label them so I know who I'm talking about. Otherwise it gets a little bit messy. Here is, uh, uh, Pee Wee Reese up there batting against uh, Hal Gregg. Takes a ball and another ball two. No, the count now on Pee Wee. And there's one outside for ball three, three, no, the count. And there's ball four. And he just stood there looking at that one. And that means Reese is on base again. And here comes Gil Hodges. And uh, there's a throw to first base. And it's uh, nothing doing. And Hodges is hit. And uh, that's going to put runners up on first and second here for Carl Ferrillo. And the Dodgers might blow this one open. There is a strike in there to a Ferrillo. Oh, and one, the count. And there's one popped up the shoot. And that's out of play. Oh, and two, now the count on Ferrillo. 0-2 oh, as he fouls another one back, and that's fouled back again. Still 0-2. 1 for 3 today for Carl. There's a ball. It's 1-2 and two now. There's a hopper off the glove of Greg um, and all the way over into uh, center field, and uh, we are going to send both runners. And here goes the throw home. Frilla will stay at first. And Reese is safe at the plate. Hodges takes third, and that is it for Greg. Here comes Bob Mooncreef as it is now 6-4 to four Dodgers, and that will bring up Bruce Edwards. Edwards up there, two for two today, and he takes a ball, one and oh the count, and two and oh now as that one misses, and there's a ground ball over the bag of third, and that will score at least one. We're going to send Ferrillo home as well, 
and he is thrown out of the plate. Edwards, though, ends up three for three today with, uh, I believe, what they're giving him is a double, and uh, seven to four is now the Dodger lead, and here's Ralph Branca. Hit that home run last time, and he takes the ball, 1-0 the count now in Branca, and he swings and misses a 1-1-1, it's one and 2-1 one, and and one is that one missed. There's a ground ball over to Castiglione's shortstop. Makes the play, throws the first for the out, two away. And here's Jackie Robinson. There is a strike in there. First pitch, fastball to Robinson. And he shoots one into the gap in left center field. And that's going to score Edwards. And Robinson now has a 19-game hitting streak. And here comes our old friend Tiny Bonham with Robinson on at first base. Eight to four Dodgers now. 17 is still a possibility. And there goes Robinson. And he uh, ends up with the steal. Steal number eight of the season for Jackie. He had 37 in real life. Eight so far in this replay. He's going to get more than 37, I'll tell you that. There's a ball in there to Jorgensen. One and one the count. That's inside. It's two and one now in Spider. Two and two as he pops that one up foul. And uh, boy, that's ball three. That was close. Full count now. And Jorgensen looks at ball four. And Tiny Bonham not doing so well here in relief. And this game has um, lengthened considerably. Marv Rackley now with an 0-2 count on him. One and two as that one's uh, too far inside. And two and two. And there's a foul ball. Remains two and two. And that's too low. Full count now on Marv. And he takes that pitch and takes his base. And here comes Duke Snyder suddenly with the bases loaded. Eight to four Dodgers, and there's a little fly ball to left field. Kiner's there for the out. We go to the top of the ninth. Well, we're going to keep Brack in there now. There was a little bit of thought of maybe replacing him, not anymore. And there's a pop-up on the 0-1 pitch over to Spider Jorgensen on the left side, and he has it for the out, one away. And here's Wally Westlake. This will be loss number five for the Pirates. Um, they're coming back down to earth. 2-0 the count now on Westlake. Fouls one back. It's 2-1 and one now on him. And there's a pop-up over to Pee Wee Reese at uh, short, two away. And here's Dixie Walker. Dixie Walker, last chance, one for three today. And he was on base also with a walk, as I recall. Two and one now the count on Walker. That's up too high. Three and one now the pitch to him. There's a ground ball over to Hodges. And Branca covers at the bag for the out. And uh, that does it. The Dodgers win this one, eight to four. And I think we can safely say that they are making their move. The big story today, of course, Ralph Branca with his second home run of the season. And that one came out of nowhere. And he just pulverized the ball. Hope you're having a good day. And I will talk to you again tomorrow. Goodbye.